getting results. A new law that went into effect over the summer here in Florida now puts more limits on who can legally drive golf carts. You used to be able to drive one at 14 years old, but now you have to have a violent, valid learner's permit or driver's license in order to drive one. Some doctors say that's a good thing because they see a lot of golf cart related injuries, especially among children. So Bridget is standing by now to ask a doctor all about it. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Red Mountain Weight Loss. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, more than 6,500 children are hurt in golf cart incidents every year. Experts at Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children say they see a lot of this, and that's why Injury, Injury Prevention Coordinator Courtney Gleaton is here with us this morning. Courtney, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. You know, when it comes to these golf cart injuries, this is pretty prevalent. I mean, most people would be surprised how much more prevalent it is than, say, like, ATV injuries. Talk Absolutely. to us about that. A lot of our communities nowadays are having these golf cart communities and allowing their younger children to drive them because they're perceived to be safer mm -hmm. than a four-wheeler or ATV, when in actuality they're just as dangerous, especially with lack of safety uh, regulations that are required. Mm -hmm. And some of those laws have changed around that, right? So we've, we've got those, those age parameters in a little bit better, but How's the enforcement or awareness of that right now? Right, so um, with enforcement, it can be, you can have moving violations from law enforcement if it's not, um, if you don't pertain to that. And then just safety wise, you wanna be at least 16 years or older or 15 and have your permit to decrease, try to decrease those injuries that are happening. Yeah, and when it comes to, you know, taking them out on the golf course, a cart, a course mm -hmm. rather, or even going just around the neighborhood, you know, whether it's a special occasion like trick-or-treating or just being out with family just to run down the street to something that's close by, I mean, this, this is when accidents can still happen, when you're just Absolutely. having fun. Yeah, we're on the roads with cars, so you kind of have to keep that in mind, too, when you're driving golf carts on regular roads with um, vehicles. If they slam on brakes, car vehicle brakes are much quicker than maybe a golf cart. And with golf carts, we're seeing more ejections mm -hmm. because there's no seat belts. So golf carts go 20 miles per hour or less, and they do not require there to be any seat belts on them. So kids are getting ejected and having higher um, head injuries than on other things like ATVs. And you see it get made fun of like on social media, you know, things like that, but it, it can be life or death. So absolutely. what about the restraint options? Because there's not necessarily car seats for golf Correct. carts, but there are some options. Yeah. So golf cart or sorry, golf car seats are yes. not allowed to be used on um, golf carts. No car seat manufacturer is going to say that that's okay, but there are like child positioners or some type of child restraints that do exist um, that you can purchase. But again, you don't know how safe those are because there are no regulations that these um, companies have to pass to make sure that they're mm -hmm. protecting your child. They can prevent that ejection, but in terms of overall safety, we just really don't know. Mm -hmm. And I did look it up. It's like a, it looks like a, what do you call it? A five point harness type yes. of thing that kind of holds the child in in case that, so they won't slide out of there. Right. So I'm like, if that's probably better than them being ejected, but you know, there's really nothing that we can say that it's going to work or mm -hmm. not. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what do you, what do you advise parents to do? Um, and you know, young adults to do is in terms of using these and you know, also taking along the little ones. Yeah, there. definitely we want to protect the whole family if we're going on to dinner or whatever on our golf carts. So you can purchase these um, restraints, but you really just want to be cautious that you don't know how well they're going to perform if you do get in an accident. But some protection is better than none. If you don't have a golf cart that has seat belts, I do recommend that you get them so that everybody on the golf cart is safe and not just our little ones. So do you, do you think that this is going to really make a difference on getting those numbers down? I really do hope so because one injured person is too many. So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for helping build awareness around some of these risks out there, and hopefully people will keep it in mind. Thanks, Courtney. Absolutely. All right, back to you, Julie.